Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Faith in the Family Room. Really, it's our ministry highlight opportunity to come together as a body of Christ and celebrate what God is doing. So this week, you can see what's behind me right now. We have three of the big red buses. It started off with an appointment set up for one red bus. We filled that. Came to two, we filled that. So they brought their third bus. And right now we're an hour behind schedule because we have had such a great response. So we just want to say thank you for really loving our community and being able to provide this special, special thing called blood that makes a difference in so many people's lives. Also about ready to crank up our food distribution. We've had cars starting to line up since four o'clock. So it's a great way for us as a body of Christ to not only let our light shine and bring glory to God, but also to love our neighbors and love them well. So this week, we wanted to take a few minutes just to ask some of our volunteers. When you think of love your neighbor, what does that mean to you? And so let's take a few minutes. We're gonna go interview some of them. So why don't you come along with me and let's go talk to some of our volunteers. So to me, loving my neighbor just means doing anything that is asked of me or even trying to find things to do that are not asked of me. Love your neighbor means to um, to be there for people and to support them however you can. So I've tried to think about ways that I can serve uh, my friends, my own family, and my community. Um, if it means calling a neighbor and saying that I'm headed to the store, can I pick up something extra for you? Whether it means donating blood out here today. I feel like it, you know, we have a lot of sick people and it's a good thing to give blood if we can, if we're healthy. You know, do our part in donating. We're doing what you can to help people. So for example, today I came and I'm donating uh, blood with the big red bus because I know that that helps a lot of people right now as there's a big need for um, blood all the time, but especially with uh, what's going on right now with the coronavirus. Handing out food here at church or even so much as calling somebody that I know that doesn't get a lot of visitors. If I can just call them and check on them and say, how are you doing? physically, emotionally, spiritually. And what's most important too is being able to pray for our neighbors. If you can't go anywhere, if you don't feel like you can do anything, you can always pray. 